I'm bringing you lights, camera and action. A brand new show every Wednesday at 7 p.m. only on Awaaz Entertainment. Hello everyone, good evening. You're watching Lights, Camera and Action. I'm your host, Kurali. I hope you all are doing great. And as you know, this is a festive season. We all are looking forward to Christmas and New Year's. And I'm excited. I hope you all are excited as well. And today and tonight, I have a very wonderful guest sitting with me. As you all know, every episode, I have a guest for you. And tonight, uh, a realtor is sitting with me. So let me welcome Miss Kusbu. Hi, Hi, thank you. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Thank you so much for coming on my show. Thank you for inviting me here. It's a pleasure. And I'm here. excited to talk about you and yourself, your career, your business, a lot of things. Kushbu is doing a lot of things. So <laughs> let me talk to her about her uh, motives and whatever she's doing. She's planning for New Year's, everything. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, Kushbu. Yeah. And tell me, like, how are you doing? How's winter season? Winter season is treating very well. No cool. complaint. Okay. The more you complain, they get worse for you. So Absolutely. no complaints. <laughs> um, I'm doing very well. Thank you. That's yes, good. Yes. And uh, so could you tell me, where are you and where did you come to Canada? Where are you from? Yeah, I'm from India, uh, oh, nice. Gujarat. Okay. And uh, I came here in 2005 with my parents. Nice. So I did my studies here. I studied in uh, U of T. Okay, nice. Yeah, so yeah. right now you're a realtor. Yes. And also I heard you're doing a business. So yes. you want to talk about both or whatever you want to talk about. Sure, yeah. sure. Both. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> so tell me, uh, let's start with your business. Sure. So you have opened a business uh, about lightings, I think. I yes. have actually seen that. Yes. And can you tell me a little bit about it? Sure. So uh, we recently opened a business called Living Lighting oh, uh, nice. Hamilton. Okay. It's a franchisee business. Okay. Um, we have wide varieties of lights, fixtures, um, chandeliers. Mm, and if you want to make your home modern or unique, mm -hmm. uh, Please visit us. Of course. <laughs> Excited. I love lights. Yeah. So, yeah, I have to visit. <laughs> Beside that, we have uh, uh, modern furniture, like uh, anything okay. unique you will find there. Nice. And decor, home decor. Perfect. Yeah. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. And so you, you, uh, you've you been doing uh, real estate as well. So mm -hmm. how many years, since how many years you are a realtor? It's been three and a half, four years almost. Four years. So it's yeah. been a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know four years is like before the COVID and after COVID. So you... Yes. Will you tell me what's the difference? Like, did you find a difference between uh, both, uh, you know, times? Times, yes. Yeah. There's, there has been a two shift so far. So, as we all know, uh, during COVID, uh, we had a crazy bidding war uh, scenario. No, it was busy. It was seller's market. Now it's buyer's market. Absolutely. So, been through the whole roller coaster. Correct. <laughs> Yeah. Right, right. So, mm -hmm. what do you think the market was before COVID and now after COVID? Like, any, um, you think it's nicer or better or not? It's definitely a buyer's market. Okay. But people are still confused. confused. They want to know where mm -hmm. the uh, interest rate is going. Right. And uh, I think they have full right to get educated for themselves. Of uh, find out where they stand for financial point of view. Mm -hmm. And uh, for them, for buyers, it's the right time, especially for those who have uh, been renting. Correct. So, if first time buyers. Exactly. And yeah. if they're qualified financially, then it's definitely a right time. Mm -hmm. In real estate, it says uh, the right time to purchase a property or, or mm -hmm. invest into property is always mm -hmm. five years ago. Oh, so okay. it's 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 right time right now. Yes. Perfect for yeah. everyone. Mm -hmm. So you are a full time uh, realtor or part time? Full time. Oh, full -time. nice, yes. nice. <laughs> and uh, do you work primarily with buyers or the sellers? I actually work with buyers, sellers, investors, everyone, tenants. Yes. Oh, everyone. nice. Yeah. And uh, what are the hours of availability? If I'm committed to one client. Mm -hmm. I'm available all the time for them. I have nice. missed so many birthday parties. Wow. 
every season uh, because you know that is the commitment it's commitment mm-hmm. and and they're investing uh, thousands and of millions course. of dollars into of property yeah. it's my role to put my 100% I understand. and give them my all uh, of ability whenever they need me I'm there I know and yes. I I know the realtors work it's not about weekday or weekend no. but it's about like every day <laughs> and, and and every property it's it's hard to find somebody's uh, uh, dream house once you find it you don't want to let it go of course so not. in order to win that of course we have to forget about the 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 time you know just yeah. work anytime <laughs> that's so nice yeah <laughs> such a nice realtor <laughs> thank you <laughs> so what types of properties have you sold lately lately um i just purchased one restaurant in mississauga okay i sold one uh, investment property in fort erie mm-hmm. um one investment property in hamilton okay and i have been working actually selling property from oshawa to fort erie to london oh nice and i have purchased uh, for my buyer oh nice nice so over. not only the toronto but all over GTA, yes. that's yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. And has anything ever gone wrong in a deal? And how did you handle it if that happened? I, I have seen every deals are unique, and mm-hmm. there's always challenges. Of course. But uh, if you have proper resources, yeah, it's always uh, you can easily resolve it. I have my husband is general contractor. Oh nice. So he has up and down knowledge of the property. Okay. Um so when you go and see the property let's say it was a bidding war period yes. when you don't get an opportunity to uh, do the inspection. Mm-hmm. But uh we would go there we would assess the property mm-hmm. uh before putting an offer yeah. we educate our buyer what is right for them what not okay. what's wrong in the property or how much potential cost if you are purchasing this property right how much potential cost will be to renovate or to fix certain stuff mm-hmm. so i have abundance of resources like proper lawyer proper mm-hmm. mortgage person nice. so every step we take or every decision we take for our buyer mm-hmm. we consult all the experts before we take the decision okay so we don't let thing go wrong mm-hmm. we kind of get the hint and then we resolve it right away in other nice. words so you have yeah. a team you're working with it's uh i would say yes team okay. but uh it's resource like okay. i have yeah, full yeah. of resources around me so you can help your me. clients yes get a mortgage agent yes. or yeah that's nice yeah. okay mm-hmm. and uh do clients work directly with you or like like i said direct it, it's a team or uh, how how does it go i'm actually solo agent okay but uh I work with Keller Williams Complete that's my uh, brokerage okay. where I have a team of realtor friends nice so whenever I have more than one deal mm. I, like you my work never get affected if I have a lot of work because I have a resource there too nice. to help me out with that Perfect. so it's indirect team work oh yes yeah, yeah. that's yeah. nice yeah. and uh, how long do you usually work with buyers from first time viewing until it's it depends on the market mm-hmm. and depends on what they like okay. uh, what they want mm-hmm. um i have uh, purchased a property for a buyer in one day oh. and i have purchased a property for a buyer took 4 months right so i never give up if it take 4 months that's okay yeah there's But no li- time limit right there is no time limit yeah. yeah as long as they they deserve what they of course uh, they want they get what they, they like. want what they deserve yeah. at the same time right price mm. so so you need to be patient too until exactly. they find yeah. their own property yeah. Right? Yeah. wow <laughs> and the, and how do you help a buyer stand out see um during the bidding war period for example because mm-hmm. that's when they had to stand out right. really mm-hmm. so that time i had my own strategies i always make cma mm-hmm. for the area mm-hmm. so i would gauge how much appreciation this Uh, area is getting mm-hmm. accordingly i would help them to put the offer i would never advise right. them to go beyond certain uh, prices Absolutely. at the same time because there are so many buyers are putting an offer mm-hmm. i would uh, make a letter or email for my buyers mm-hmm. and uh, i would say um i would put a detailed description about my buyers mm-hmm. how qualified they are right and uh, about their family about their work so that brings 
uh, emotional factor mm -hmm. to the seller's eyes. At the right. same time, it brings uh, they want to know to who is buying my property or who is Correct. more qualified for my property. Yes. So that way, my letter has been very successful. Mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, because I prove that how qualified they are, they mm -hmm. would easily accept the offer. Nice. So it's been successful so far. Nice, yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can increase the selling price too, right? Like. Do you need to make repairs or hire a stranger to do that or? Um, I've been, as I said, I have a, a good team. Yes. I have my stagers also. Nice. Um, for repair work, my husband has been always helping me. Okay. Um, so that key factor because uh, it minimizes the listing period. In other words, okay. if they are in rush, yes. I would get the thing done in timely manner. Okay. But professionally, at the same time, we make the house ready by mm -hmm. staging. Staging is very important I and know. for sure repairs are very important That's because well, yeah. whoever you are giving your property, it has to be uh, ready to go in position. Absolutely. So the person who is buying is also coming with the positive attitude there. You Absolutely. know, and they can easily, they're more exposure, they're more seller can get, uh, so more buyer get interest in your property. Mm -hmm. So it's better to, to present well. Absolutely. It's always better. Yeah, I yeah. think that is important mm -hmm. and whenever even uh, when we go and see the houses and yeah. open house something, that's what we, that's what stands out to exactly. our eyes, right? The staging, exactly. I think. And uh, it's Even always, the space, you can actually feel true. the space when there is nicely staging done. Yeah, it, it's a key mm -hmm. factor actually. Uh, our furniture could be bulky, but stager knows. They know oh, what furniture would make your space bigger, yes. what color would go, decor. Absolutely. For sure. And you know, uh, when somebody is buying the property, when they step mm -hmm. into house, um, beside looking at the structure and bits and parts of the house, people want to feel home. Feel home. And, they, and that's, feel wow. Yeah. And how, you know, sometimes <clears> I've <throat> actually noticed People who want to buy as well, they want to do the same kind of staging when exactly. they buy. It, it actually gives them yeah. an idea. Idea. Yes. yes. Yeah. Very nice to keep how yeah. the house like nice, clean, and you know uh, modern, modern, unique. Modern, unique. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who wouldn't love it? For sure. <laughs> so, what can seller do to get his house ready for showings? Um, for showings, uh, definitely they need to declutter the house. Absolutely. I think that's the most important <laughs> that's thing. That's a right? very important fact. Yeah. And you know, everybody thinks that my house is mm -hmm. the best, <laughs> which is nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. But we have to think in a bigger level yeah. that uh, what the buyer want to see in your property. And Absolutely. you have to prepare your property accordingly. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I think that is really important. Yeah. <laughs> and what price would you recommend if a seller is in a rush to sell and timing were not an issue? See, um, we always do evaluation of the property. Mm -hmm. I make the CMA. Um, right. Find out. I also incorporate all the little factors like mm -hmm. how old the properties are, mm -hmm. what kind of renovations you have done. We do the price adjustment in CMA according to all these other factors that okay. uh, in the property. Then we come up with a number that, not a number, but the range mm -hmm. um, that what number your property should be listed for. Correct. So there are scenarios when everybody wants the higher price for their property. Mm -hmm. But if seller wants to list for higher price, yeah. um, if you overprice your property, then it will stay in the market for longer time. Absolutely. Then it will have adverse effect on the prices later of on. Of course. So to list at the right price is the key to sell in timely manner. Right. Yeah, I think that's yeah. a really good answer yeah, for yeah. all our viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, what is your marketing game plan if you can share with us? Um, I do A to Z. Okay. Um, so, in terms of selling, for example, mm -hmm. um, we have Broker Bay. Mm -hmm. So, where lots of realtors are um, using that Broker Bay features okay. to book an appointment. Also, at the same time for marketing, so what we do is uh, if somebody want to put their property exclusively mm -hmm. until they get ready, mm -hmm. we put the property on Broker Bay as exclusive. Mm -hmm. So more realtor get to know that this property is coming in the market soon or oh, okay. it's, it's listed as exclusive. Yeah. And as soon as the property gets ready, mm -hmm. we go on MLS. For marketing, I do paid advertisement, target. 40 to 60 kilometer areas from the location of the property. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, people are migrating from Toronto to Hamilton. Yes. So we target according to what last three months the migration is. 
Oh, we have uh, Keller Williams has a command software which help mm -hmm. us to gauge what is the migrating pattern, where are the people coming from. Nice. So accordingly, we set up the, for example, Facebook, Insta um, mm -hmm. advertisement. So all social media. All social media. Okay. And do uh, we do aerial photography, videography, nice. um, professional photography, everything. staging, everything. Marketing is the key. More exposure. Nowadays, for the more it's expert. important. Very important. Yeah, when social media it's, marketing is. Yes. For more exposure, it's it's very vital. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. So right now we'll take a short break. Sure. Mm -hmm. And we'll get back after this break. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Lights, Camera, Action. I'm your host, Kubrali, and uh, tonight we are sitting with Kusbu. Mm -hmm. So let's continue talking with her. Hello, welcome. Hello, thank you again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you were talk we were actually talking about your marketing game plan. So yes. next question I would like to ask you is, would you help your client navigate a potential bidding war? Um, bidding war, uh, as I mentioned earlier, yeah. um, I don't want my buyer client to pay way beyond um, the market price. Okay. Even if it's crazy market, I, know. I always have done a CMA mm -hmm. for the area. The only difference was uh, we need to see what price is increasing, mm -hmm. average average increase price of the area. Okay. So accordingly, I always uh, advise them to put an offer. At the same time, I make sure that uh, they are qualified for that particular amount. So mm -hmm. they don't go beyond their call the a mortgage amount of course so um that's another that's one factor mm -hmm. second thing is as i mentioned earlier i would write a thorough letter yeah. explaining details about my buyer that mm -hmm. actually how much interested they are in that property okay so that creates another positive factors uh, mm -hmm. to to win the the bidding war okay and you know it's always a price is a driven driving force for seller mm. but as I mentioned, if you have some other factors that helping them to win, why not? So right. I've been I've been incorporating all those. Yeah. Nice, mm -hmm. thank you. And uh, what is your availability for getting out to showings quickly? Um, I actually work on buyer's timing. Oh, nice. So, so you're flexible. Flexible. As nice. long as I get the showing appointment right away, I would go in. Yeah. That's so nice, actually. I'm very blessed. As I mentioned earlier, I have a, a family been helping with my kids yes, and uh, that's nice. uh, my husband has been very helpful for both business mm -hmm. so I can actually get out easily if I'm committed I'm committed I have to so I'm always nice. available for them that's yes. so nice I yeah. think our viewers would love to hear that yeah. <laughs> <You're available. laughs> and how many properties should your buyers see before they make an offer on one see um, what I believe and that's from my experience yeah. is uh, what people want mm -hmm. is not always what they like and it's not always what's available in the market absolutely actually that's a there's very a good very thing you said. fine line between all these three factors yeah. so for me i always tell them two days we're just gonna see the property that's okay. it when they see the property i kind of gauge their like yes. dislike and what create more interest and what's available in the market according to their choice then i filter out property and then mm -hmm. real property search would start after uh, those two days of and showing. what if though in those two days they like a property <laughs> then bang on easy for wow. both of us <laughs> See? and that That's happened yeah. so uh, because sometimes we, people are like okay you know what this is what we wanted yes and that happened yeah. many times many times so I, I usually book more than one mm -hmm. so they get more exposure and yeah. more options yes yeah so you mm -hmm. think nowadays there are a lot of properties that there are a lot you can show a lot of properties whenever they are ready are there mar in the there, market there are still properties in okay. the market see uh, properties are staying longer in the market right no, now so actually it's win win yeah. for buyer okay you have more option True. at the same time you can visit the property more than three times if you wish before oh, you're purchasing nice. right yeah. so actually it gives you a confidence before mm. you buy Okay, and yes. definitely there is a room for inspection so you can confidently purchase the property nowadays nice yeah. nice yeah. and how will you determine what homes may match your buyer's wants and needs 
see uh, as i mentioned yes. we go and see the property but yes. before that definitely uh, we would have a buyer consultation right. where i would gauge uh, their requirement mm -hmm. what exactly they're looking for and what fits in their budget okay so so sometimes uh, did this happen with you like whatever they are saying verbally that they want to choose such kind of property but the moment they go and see houses their changes they change their easily it's, yeah it's always the fact and that's the fine line i was talking about yes. that what you I want mean, isn't it like different. confusing for you then yes <laughs> and that's that's where the the psychology plays a role in that yeah. you gauge their like you know yeah. when, when they go in and something that that there is a trend you have to trace. Mm -hmm. Okay. If they like open concept kitchen with the island table and you see a big smile on their face, you know that that's what they're yeah. like. And so, they're going to tell you too, oh, you know what? I love this area. I yes. love this kitchen. Yes. And, yeah. and people are more expressive when they like it. So that's yeah, the and time. And when they don't like it, they'll be quiet. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so that's the role of realtor to gauge their, their liking. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because when I was a buy, my, like, buying um, for yourself. Yeah. <coughs> that, that, remember, mm -hmm. I had few things when I told my uh, realtor mm -hmm. that I want like this, this. But when I saw a few properties, my mind literally changed. sometimes changed. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with yeah. that, right? It's, it's And you know, even when we speak to our realtor, yeah. They also tell us about the pros and the cons yes. regarding the, you know, what our likes are. And then mm -hmm. we change due yeah. to that perspective, we change. And yeah. that's, uh, those clients are very uh, easy to work with and they get okay. the best out of best okay. because you're flexible. You're not sticking yeah, with of course one not. And, and you get more options available for yes. you that way. True, yeah. true. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. And during the buying process, how often you keep in contact with your client? Always. <laughs> Always. I'm, okay. uh, I used to work in hospital, so yeah. I'm um, a people's person. I get nice. bonded very easily. So what did you work at hospital? I was, uh, so I did clinical psychology and physiology, and then I got job in uh, Trillium Hospital, Mississauga, nice. in surgical spine unit. So I was a coordinator, you see wow. there. Yeah. So you had to actually coordinate with a lot of people. <laughs> uh, yes, I was mostly with all the nurses and wow. doctors and they have a system so and I patients know. of course so it, oh, it see, was we a didn't good know experience. that you did do that too yeah. as well so it was very good multi-talented yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you it's actually a, a building blocks for me it nice. gives me a personality depth. It, it gives I me know. a lot of different skills of and now i can utilize those in real estate i know it's yeah. uh, it's very similar right very similar you approaching working, people talking with exactly. them exactly getting to know their yeah. their yeah. what they really like what they of want course. what they're going through you know absolutely yeah that's nice <laughs> and uh, you still working at hospital no i recently quit i quit almost a month ago Okay. Uh, we'll come back to that. Sure. <laughs> Let me finish with my realtor question. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to come back to that. Sure. <laughs> so what expenses should a buyer expect after buying a home? My uh, understanding is every buyer, uh, they're investing too much money into a property. Okay. So I feel they should get ready to move in property. Right. Oh, okay, okay. So for my client, I try my best to help them to choose a property with less expense after the closing okay so i would say very minimal mm -hmm. yeah right okay mm -hmm. and uh, so now can you explain us by home buying process home buying process um so as we spoke earlier uh, i would first do the consultation with yeah. them know exactly what location mm -hmm. what price range they are looking for how much they are qualified for. That's a very important factor. Of course. And uh, uh, what exactly, what kind of property they're looking for. Mm -hmm. Once we know all these factors, are they renting right now? Right. Do they have any timeline? Do they, because yeah. usually when you're renting, you have a certain amount of lease mm -hmm. uh, month left, right? So time period, uh, whether they need a school for kids or not. Of course. So a lot of factor we, we, we uh, filter out mm -hmm. and then um, start looking for property. Mm -hmm. And once we filter it out, it's kind of easy. Yes. Um, then it's just once they like it, we put the offer. Mm -hmm. um, inspection is very important That's right important, now. Yes. Um, also, when we go see the property, we try to find out 
what could cost you more after closing okay for example windows are damaged mm -hmm. or roof or yeah. major cost mm -hmm. so if um, property has those kind of negative mm -hmm. issue we would discuss and educate them okay and uh, after that work with the lawyer uh, once once the offer get accepted yes. work with the lawyer and then the closing did yeah. this ever happen with your client that their mortgage wasn't approved no i always okay. uh, make sure make sure yeah. before see it's uh, everybody for everyone um mm -hmm. going to look for property is so much fun yeah you know but for me first thing is uh, you have to know where you stand yes, otherwise true. you're wasting your valuable time of course yours and obviously yeah. their time right? their time yeah. their time for sure because you know people are only available after work so Absolutely. you're taking out very valuable family yeah, time yeah and then you can let them know so, you know what this is where you stand and this is kind of properties you yeah. can buy yeah right and so their time is very important for mm -hmm. us so it's better for them to to know whether how much they are qualified for or not of course and then go for property showing that's nice and uh, what are the tactics you use of, for selling homes for selling home uh, again exposure is the key factor yeah and as i discussed earlier um, we do professional video videography photography right. aerial photography um, we do even uh, if the property if the market is slow mm -hmm. we do even uh, pamphlet and distribute the pamphlet oh, in the nice. area okay yeah um, definitely uh, multimedia marketing mm -hmm. targeting 20 to 40 km to 60 km zone Okay. from the property broker bay is the another mm -hmm. one and uh, i think uh, mls that's the last that's one. the last yeah, one yeah and i we cover all the required factor for marketing nice and that's a key factor for selling because the more people see the more yeah, offer absolutely. interest going to come that's what in. people are doing they are yes. searching the properties property as well. yes right. for sure yeah and can you explain us why it has been so difficult to fit property in Toronto these days the uh, price is the key factor yeah and another thing is uh, supply and demand okay those two factors has affect uh, mm -hmm. and this is the reason why people been moving away from toronto mm -hmm. because price been low not really right right <laughs> well it the market is stabilizing a bit mm -hmm. so it could go more low in the area mm -hmm. but right now uh, out of Toronto area, the prices are more affordable mm -hmm. and people have been going to that road. Yeah, they're yeah. leaving Toronto. Leaving Toronto. <laughs> we have so many people migrated from Mississauga, Brampton, Toronto to Hamilton area. Yeah, so yeah. the properties over there are better priced? Compared to here, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, even Brantford, Paris, um, Niagara Falls, yes, but it's it's a bit far away but the prices are good people have yeah. been mo moving there too. I have been also mm -hmm. noticing people from Brampton are moving to Orangeville too so yes. how are the properties over there? I think Orangeville the price point is still uh, higher, higher compared okay. to um, the other, the the ones other you said the one I'm de I've oh. been dealing with yes okay. yeah yeah all right and uh, how do you help your clients sell or buy home in a competitive market? Um, to sell, uh, definitely more exposure, more marketing mm -hmm. um, and uh, to find a right qualified buyer for them. Because mm -hmm. when you have, I had a scenario when you have, you know, 15 offers in your hand. Wow. But uh, to get the best price, uh, right. that's where the realtor skills come into play. Right. Yeah. And it's challenging. It's challenging, yeah. But we did it. <laughs> wow, yeah. that's nice to hear. Thank so you. how do you set realistic expectations for your clients? Uh, for buyers, again, um, what they qualified for mm -hmm. versus what they, what, which area they're looking for. Mm -hmm. And, you know, nowadays everybody has access through internet. Yeah. So looking at the area, they would know what prices the property are selling for. Yes. And they have um, the knowledge. They have the knowledge. Mm -hmm. We just have to guide them right way yeah. by creating CMA, showing them last three months mm -hmm. of what's the trend of selling there. Yeah. And that would help them to uh, purchase the right property and right price. Yeah. So let's take a short break mm -hmm. and we'll be back after this break. Hello everyone, you're watching Lights Camera Action. I'm your host, Gurali. Welcome back. So we're talking with Kuzbu. We'll continue talking with her. Welcome back, Kuzbu. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, okay. 
Next question would be mm -hmm. your uh, real estate agent fees, which is, is it included in the closing costs? Um, if it's, it's from the buyer side, uh, okay. it's actually included in the selling um, price mm -hmm. and it's given by the seller side. Mm -hmm. uh, it's always on the uh, on uh, MLS, it says how many percentage a uh, realtor would get. So buyer don't have to um, pay for a commission there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. And do you have uh, weekly open houses and do you conduct your open house uh, by yourself? Or? Yes, um, I always have weekly open houses. In fact, during COVID time mm -hmm. um, and even after COVID also, I've been doing live open houses also. Oh, nice. So I would yeah. go on, live on Facebook. I would arrange ahead of time. Okay. Um, do the advertisement for live mm -hmm. open house so that way uh, people who cannot come in a cold weather or whatsoever reason mm -hmm. they can still see the property in details nice. um, and ask questions the, exactly regarding the property yeah. another mm -hmm. uh, positive point of doing live open houses is um, there are more people get to, because the video will stay there for quite a long time right. so more exposure more people gonna see later on even after that designated yeah two it to stays four on times. social media right? yeah, the video. yeah so the in-person open house is always like two to four or two hours yeah but this one will stay there so more people get to see so it. do you still continue this live one? yes oh nice so i do both actually this is yeah. easier for your clients to and whoever wants to buy the property yeah. they can go and uh, see the yeah. details so do you have a website Possible? Yes, it's okay. uh, KP Dream Homes okay. uh, with Keller Williams. Complete so the, Realty. the videos you're talking about, the live ones, you actually mm -hmm. post on your website? No, it's on my uh, realtor page on Facebook okay. because we go live through Facebook. Facebook. Yes. It's easier yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, when selling a house, how much do you think sellers should list the price for? Um, again, it all boils down to the market value, yeah, the right. evaluation, the mm -hmm. CME. We uh, we do the mm -hmm. uh, the um, market analysis, Correct. find out what's the right price for mm -hmm. this property, and that's the price they should list yeah. um, to get the best price. Okay. Yeah. And uh, do you like ever experience that your clients are asking you to, uh, you know, if they are like selling their property and they're asking, you know, what I'm not selling this property under this amount. So does it happen with you? Or? Yes, I, and everyone have full right to put their opinion and there okay. has been. Mm -hmm. uh, but my job is uh, to, to educate, educate yeah. them yeah. realistic way. And that's when again, the CMA, we make it so thoroughly mm -hmm. with incorporating all the factors. Okay. So that we, the, the, the price that we can come up with it's more close to the market price. Mm -hmm. So that will actually make them happy. We set their uh, expectation point realistic way, right. help them out. Yeah. Okay, nice. And what is the best way to reach you at? Uh, my, you can call me on my cell phone number 647 mm -hmm. 978 yeah. uh, My email is kpinchal at kw.com. Okay. And I'm available anytime. Wow. Yeah. Or That's text nice. me. Yeah. She's flexible. Mm -hmm. That's a Thank great you. thing to know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, any challenges you have faced uh, during your uh, realtor experience? Uh, there has All these been, years? Uh, there has been always, you know, um, every deal is unique mm -hmm. to itself. And uh, as we had earlier discussion, having a team of resources around me has always helped me to resolve all the challenges that came across nice very quickly challenges so. you face every time but it's, it's all it's time. about resolving them yes it's about how you tackle them that's so, right actually yeah. that's a really good answer yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> okay any uh okay this question i want to ask you this is the last question about the realtor yeah. so what <laughs> qualities or certification set you apart from other agents um so i did my um studied through U of T as I yeah. discussed and then after that I worked so many years in hospital working with different ethnicity people yes um gives me a lot of uh, experience about their likes dislikes their needs right. you know that uh, and I'm a people's person I mm. feel their emotions feel their uh, requirement mm -hmm. and that has been a very key factor to help them find the right uh, property in right timely manner. Mm -hmm. Beside that, uh, have done all the courses in 
real estate and that has been teaching me even through the all the past 2040 deals that we've been doing um the experience is the key factor right and every deals has taught me so many uh, positive things mm -hmm. and that's actually an asset for the upcoming deals for me wow. so that would keep me more skillful nice. and help to help the people for sure wow mm -hmm. that's nice mm -hmm. any other hobbies hobbies or interests <laughs> apart from your realtor work <laughs> uh, uh, which actually keeps you busy my hobby is uh, to spend time with family, ah, especially so going sweet. out, yeah. uh, vacation for sure. For sure, <laughs> holiday, we all need holiday. <laughs> Who doesn't want to go on holidays? It's actually holiday season, so I'm very excited. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. And again, uh, commitment is one thing, yeah. and what we like and hobbies is another thing. Right. So it's just how to manage, manage. both things Obviously together. Obviously, you will. Yeah. If you like holiday season, then you don't take any clients at that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I've been prioritizing clients first, mm -hmm. uh, but now the market is a bit slow, so yeah. it has given us an opportunity for Taking to your, to enjoy. Your time. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. To enjoy time with family. And yeah. what about Christmas? Any plans for holidays? Um, Plans for holidays, uh, spend time with kids and uh, enjoy Christmas with kids. And yeah. my store will be open on 26th of Boxing Day. Cool. So, Come and shop. Shop, yes. <laughs> A lot of lights. Lot and you know lights. you need lights for Christmas. So for sure. <laughs> good one. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like, do you have any other profession regard, like apart from your realtor? You said like you have a business and you yes. used to work at hospital. And it, yes. Can you actually tell us more about the hospital work? You did? Uh, hospital work, uh, I was UCA, the unit coordinator. Okay. Um, and uh, the big time um, to get to know the reality of life was during COVID time. Oh my God, you worked during Every COVID. Every day we felt how blessed we are. Of course. Because we have seen a family uh, dying without seeing another I know. Meeting family them member. Too, right? Meeting them yeah. too. Uh, so many. It was hard times. So many tough experiences. And you have actually seen at the hospital. At the so, hospital. Wow, hats yeah, off to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's been very uh, emotionally challenging, but at the same time, uh, hospital work. You work with so many nurses and doctors. People. They become your family at yeah. one point, you know. And and uh, it's there's always a positive vibes there because you feel good helping people. Yeah, I yeah. have a question. Like during mm -hmm. COVID, it was a hard time at hospital, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah. you you stuck with it, like you did it. Yeah. And now you have actually, like you quit the job. So yeah. I want to know like what factor made you stay at, during the COVID and now quitting it? Like, See, um, I was a full-time realtor I would that time also. Yeah. And I was doing actually part-time. I changed full-time to part-time to casual in, in hospital. Okay. But during COVID time, they really needed a staff oh, over there. I understand. Right? I and uh, being a human, you have to, you know, it's hard to say you no. At the same time, no. you, you can't really see them, you know. I understand. Um, if they need you, then you have, it's your duty to, to help them. Of course. Yeah. At the same time, uh, I was hand by hand doing real estate. Mm. So it was right time. But now that I have another business added to my basket. Oh, yes. Yeah. The lighting business. <laughs> so uh, definitely I have a, a, a huge, huge, uh, my partner is my husband. So he's been helping. And you're busy as well now. And he has his own business at the same yeah. time. So we, we walk hand by hand. We, we do yeah. it everything together. But uh, doing three business at the same time. I mean, working and doing business at the same time was challenging. I understand. Um, and we wanted to give time to kids as well. Kids, business, business. and now you are yeah. as a full-time realtor. I yeah. understand. And and we have to put our 100% on what we are doing. If one thing doesn't justify, yeah. then it doesn't work to do it. And Absolutely. this is the reason I why agree. I ended up quitting the hospital job. I agree, yeah. I agree 100%. Mm -hmm. You want to uh, tell something to our viewers before we end our show. <laughs> so first of all, I want to say thank you for giving me an opportunity My to pleasure. be here. Um, to viewers, um, thank you for listening <laughs> to me. Um, if you need any real estate needs, please contact me. My number is 647-909-0778. Uh, I'm Kushbu Pinchar and I work all over GTA. 
बिसाइड डैट वी रन अ बिजनेस कॉल लिविंग लाइटिंग इट्स अ फ्रेंचाइजी ओवर थर्टी फाइव ईयर ओ फ्रेंचाइजी सो इट्स अ ब्रांड यू कैन कॉन्फिडेंटली परचेज एनी फैक्चर दैट यू वॉन्ट एंड वी कैन हेल्प यू टू रीडिजाइन योर होम टू मॉडर्नाइज योर होम सो इवन इफ यू नीड लाइटिंग और यू नीड रियल इस्टेट नीड्स प्लीज कॉन्टेक्ट मी थैंक यू Thank you so mm-hmm. much. It was nice talking to you because you're a very nice person, human, obviously multi-talented. <laughs> Thank you and so much. And yeah, for your realtor, realtor needs for your home, just call Kuzmu and mm-hmm. uh, go to her website mm-hmm. uh, to see her properties and yeah, and also her store, lighting store. Yes, please do. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So thank you very much for watching my show. We'll uh, see you back again, uh, same time, same show. uh with her next guest on our next episode until then have a good uh holiday season i hope you're enjoying it a good winter stay safe wear your masks whenever you can i think that would be great to mm-hmm. actually you know uh for this festive season to enjoy and celebrate without getting sick <laughs> get your shots flu shots whatever get your covid-19 shots be ready for the festive season so until then good night see you again bye Hi, I'm Tigra Ali. I'm bringing you lights, camera and action. A brand new show every Wednesday at 7 p.m. only on Awas Entertainment.